Hi everybody, I'm Shah and I'm going to place this video on my channel and if I lose members, so be it. But I only hope that I will be recognised that I'm not a racist, but I'm fighting against the word racist or discrimination rather. Both of them are very important. I've just been watching a video called Bear Witness Take Action and the comment section was shut off and I will do that uh, as well so that I will not go into further conversation but I just would like to draw your attention. Because Floyd, George, uh, I think he's called uh, George Floyd was um, killed by an official person and the, it went viral because there was a 17 year old girl called Darnella um, that videoed the death of this person. Um, I have spoken to somebody else in America and learned that this person had a criminal record, but that doesn't matter really in this instance, I think, because everybody is okay until they are proven guilty. So my question to America is, why are you innocent until proven guilty and you get treated like this? It's unworthy, it's degrading, and I think it's dead right that people are taking action. You haven't seen me like this before, but I've got a double whiplash, and um, I know what discrimination is. And it is also breaking all kinds of human rights, because human rights are being shunned all over the world, not only in America, but in Europe as well. Even on the other side of the world, like Japan, Hong Kong, there are riots going on because people can't speak freely. They have no life. All governments should realize this, and those in power that uphold these crazy issues should be removed. Now, I'm going to put out my reaction about um, this bear witness and take action. So I am taking action in reply to that video. I think racist is not only against the blacks, but what about the Mexicans? What about the Jewish people? What about the Muslim people? What about the old people? They are get dis discriminating as well. They are being discriminated as well. What about the handicapped people? If you see somebody with things like what I'm wearing, and I'm taking them off now, because then you can see the difference. Um, people pay attention. People treat you differently. People help you. People are open to help you or to listen to you. But if you are and I'm not only wear a collar from when I sleep, because I do that when I sleep or when I have a heavy day, or I have to do something in. Look, that is what I have to wear. Otherwise, I cannot sit up straight and be without pain. But even the corset gives me pain. You don't see me when I go live with my corset on because the camera doesn't show it. But I do get discriminated. You are old, you are a cripple, you are Dulali. It's not only because of my spiritualism and my paranormal uh, gifts, but it hurts. And the saying in England goes, sticks and stones may break my bones, but words do not hurt me. Words do hurt. Words, discriminating words, do hurt. This video, bear witness and take action, made me emotional and made me cry. And I have been fighting all my life as I have been working in the healthcare for 22 years. Uh, now that we have the COVID-19, now we are getting thanks for the healthcare workers. 
and we are clapping every Thursday in England for the healthcare workers. We should get public recognition for all people that are in service, not the policemen that are wrong, that we don't have enough police that work with the community. They should be back in the community. There is lack of people working from municipalities or institutions and really mingle with the people. We are being discriminated as the people, not only the blacks. We are forgetting the Chinese, the yellow skin color, we are getting the Latinos, the, um, the olive colored skin, uh, Mexicans, Jewish beliefs. It's all racism and discrimination and it should stop and also for the people that have made our freedom that went through the second world war and have to live in poverty because they're only one or two pence off um, what i'm trying to say is there's a, a a threshold on how much you're allowed to have in your on your pension and you have to pay taxes or you fall outside the network of the healthcare system or other systems like subsidies. If you have a rented home and you earn or you have too high a pension, you fall outside that pension because you've got one cent too much. And I think America should reorganize their social system and to have a health system, health insurance for the people that are less fortunate because let's face it, money talks. And in America, they're talking about defunding. I don't understand in bear witness and take action. What defunding is, what are they defunding? All governments are defunding and taking away from the poor and making them even more poorer to keep, and this is to keep them under control, quiet and subdued. The rich are getting richer. So what we have to do is to remove those people that are racist in government. It's not only the black people from America that are being discriminated. The slave trade is still going on. Open your eyes, please, everybody around the world. The slave trade is still going on. Children are being sold, especially in the Far East. As children are being used sexually there, also in the tourist sector like Thailand. Okay, that's one of the biggest places that children are being sold, just to have food. So the Thai government should help the less fortunate by giving them food. Egypt is the same thing. People, Africa, the black people there are starving, they're dying. Why the governments in Africa are corrupt, it should be stopped. People are denied things like health insurance. People are denied education because the municipalities or the governments are not uh, supporting the schools or the, the, the families. Uh, in Holland, they are. Um, thank goodness for that. More so in other countries, but it's becoming less. Take away the robots and bring back the people. When you go to a supermarket, don't go to the cash machines and do the work yourself. Go to a person. This is how you keep their jobs in going on. So don't, when you're in the supermarket, go to a person so they have a job and the job can maintain because the robots and everything digital is taking over. Also, there it was an, something being said about property tax, tax in America. The schools have no subsidy, subsidies for 
um, from the government in the poor areas. The rich schools can survive because they've got parents that pay thousands and thousands of dollars for their kids' education. But in the poverty and the cities, the school has to pay tax to the government. It's crazy. Here in Holland, all the public um, institutions like a church, a school, uh, even a uh, Companies that come from outside of Holland, they don't have to pay property tax, they don't have to pay electrical tax, they don't have to pay tax on the telephone, they don't have to pay tax on, uh, on water, that's all free of charge from the Dutch government. What the, um, I'm glad that um, the young people are embracing and taking uh, embracing this and uh, uh, that they are coming into action and having protests and that it had to start with a man's death unfortunately uh, my condolences to the family or so many other deaths and i'm sure they're not all black but because they've got a black colored skin it gets more noticed and I think the young ones are finally waking up after years of praying and asking and wishing for the young ones to take action and people to actually have the word heard and posting things on Facebook take action signing petitions if you are a handicapped person you cannot go out and march Ooh, people are fed up with suppression, whether black, white, green or purple with orange spots. We need to get these governments off their asses and filling their own pockets. There should be equality. There is a group that they call the elite. The elite were bankers and that was i think 400 500 years ago and they formed the government in america and these people are i'm not naming any names so i can't get done or uh, for naming names i'm keeping it general but the elite should start paying uh, for what they have been taking away from mother earth and from the people if the elite want to be served by the people, which we are, we are teachers, we are carers, we are cleaners, we are the dustmen, we are the shopkeepers, we are the shop uh, shelf fillers. If the elite would like to maintain the life they have now, then it's a wake up call for the elite and you know who you are. To let us have our jobs to let us have our money that we work hard for and not to tax us so high. Pay your taxes because a lot of companies, they evade taxes. So I'm saying we should remove everyone from office that are racial, even in the public eye. There is enough proof when they are filmed and they're doing speech. You know who I mean, whether it's in Holland or in America or France or any other country. Those idiots should be removed. Also, if you watch the video, bear witness, take action. Have a look at what is being said about threats on media or in public in real life on street at one hour six minutes and 50 seconds and thank you YouTube for installing COPPA that is to protect our children perhaps you should be more aware to protect your creators and indeed there was said in that video why are people allowed to stay on media channels as when they are known as trolls? They 
or uh, or people that um, not only because they um, they discriminate me as a reader on Charlie's Angel Tarot or um, people that um, I can find uh, I check them out and I report them I uh, and you are not uh, disabling them uh, because they still keep coming back and they are on the porno sites it's none of my business what they do I don't want to discriminate anybody but please stay away from my channel and please delete them from YouTube if they keep on pestering other creators each to their own and if we respect each other for what we do then and let everybody do what they want then that is fine so long it doesn't hurt anybody else but definitely the civil rights have been broken of the people the human rights they've been shunned I can go into that but I've uh, experienced racism and discrimination myself and that is why I fight against this and the question was also raised in the video bear witness and take action what would a future look like without racism well I can my answer is respect for each other in the first place and when you have respect you create freedom prosperous for all no roadblocks on what we earn or what we do legally there would be equality there will be respect and recognition towards each other and bring us back together instead of putting that one and a half meter between people you're breaking the family concept that is also breaking the human rights law equality not quantity but quality we need our families we need our friends we don't need nutty people in a shop going off their trolley because you are not one and a half meter in a distance we don't need a fine for 7,800 euros if we do not comply to that and if we are forced to pay a fine or three months imprisonment governments municipalities are losing their marbles you're breaking family relations you're breaking friendship relations you're not giving the young people a chance or people to come together and create a unit yes the lack of economics is also bringing out hatred discrimination fighting for work fighting for a bit of food people are getting less for their money so bring down the taxes bring down the prices shops are going under because of this COVID-19 if if you can scrap, uh, scrap the payments for mortgages and tax for the six seven months that the COVID has existed that would give people a better start to pay back their rent or whatever companies should be held accountable for their tax and evasions of tax companies should be accountable for their employees their sickness benefit their redundancy money if they go bankrupt the companies big large firms should um, pay more tax for um, environmental damage because they've been taking so much from mother earth they should be putting money back planting more trees stop cutting the trees there I'm seeing documentaries all over the place in Canada America they are cutting down trees and making the land bare stop that 
the native Indians in Canada, America, treat them with respect, give them water, give them correct housing, give them their land back. That is big discrimination and racist. Everybody seems to forget the native Americans and Canadians. Subsidized schools, subsidized people, like sickness benefits, health um, accident, accident benefit, fund water, fund health training and knowledge so that people can be trained to deal with life outside school and be a help to the community and support the community in the bigger good. Let the elite elite pay out what they have destroyed. That is my call out by taking from Mother Earth and its people. We should be equal. You're talking about equality. Then let's get real. Make a cooperative of governments. Then people will come in to vote. Either regionally or in the whole country electing their president and remove this one because he's destroying more than what is good. I hope nobody feels offended or degenerated by what I've said. It is for the bigger good and I wish that everything would turn out much better. Give more freedom and what I also don't understand is that we have a law here in Holland that we are not allowed to film anybody in, in public without their permission. Is there no law in America with regards to privacy? And stop tracing us. That is also a part of the a law that has been break, broken. Privacy, the privacy law stop tracing us and wanting to control us and don't force us to have the serum or the vaccination for COVID-19. Let us have our own choice. I wish everybody health, happiness and safety and freedom, equality and respect and quality of life. Stay well, stay in peace and please fight for what you believe in and speak your truth. Take care and God bless.